Hello, friends. It's been a while since I've been live and I wanted to hop on because I'm doing my makeup. I just did my hair and it's beggar's night here in central Iowa. Um, well, I should just say in Bondurant, really in my town. Um, and not being from Iowa, <laughs> this was new for me. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I am Heidi and I'm so glad you're here. I'm going to talk about beggar's night for one thing, but I'm also going to do my makeup, talk a little bit about some products. I also have some new jewelry I want to show off. I just have all the things and that's why I wanted to hop on live. So if you are watching this in replay or if you're hopping on happy Saturday, um, let's just hang out and I'm going to get ready. I'm getting ready to go to a little special boy's birthday party. Um, I have featured a lot of products in my beauty group, um, and in reels and stuff with different products, but I don't feel like I've really gone live to show some of these. So, um, say hello if you're watching this in replay, or even if you're on, just so I know that you caught this, let me know if you are interested in trying anything. Um, I can also get you color matched. Um, if you haven't even tried this makeup yet and you're like, I just want something new or start out with makeup. That was me. I had, wasn't a makeup <laughs> before this. So I'm starting out with this new plush prep mist. And this is like a primer. It's a mist primer and it has some great ingredients in it. And I am so bad at remembering what ingredients, but I know there's some really good ones and that are really good for your skin. And so I like to spray it. It gets kind of <laughs> I get a lot on my face and so I usually just use my damp perfector sponge that I'm going to be using later to blend anyway and so I just kind of move that all around but this is going to help with your skincare but it's also going to help with your fine lines wrinkles pores and just really get a nice canvas for your face prior to applying your makeup so I like to do my moisturizer right after I got out of the shower I already did that and then I spray that mist and I already um use the new cloud cleansing cream that replaced my shampoo and conditioner and I like massage my hair and then I use this gloss pre blow drying it so I've already blow dried it and so that helped um, protect against heat for one thing it also is helping um, hydrate my hair especially after I got it dyed I really have to take care of it because the blonde isn't always the best for my hair. Um, and it's going to just add an extra shine and gloss. And now I do a little bit more. I don't do as much afterwards, but this just kind of helps um, just finish off the look. So my hair looked a little bit frizzy from blow drying it. So then I put this on there and do you see how just nice and shiny and like it's all tame. I just love it. And it's so lightweight. It doesn't feel greasy in my hair, but isn't that, oh, I just love it. It smells divine. When they introduced it at Reunion last month, it was funny because, you know, when there's new products, like you don't remember the names of everything. And, and so I'm like, but they had stuff set out so you could try it. And so I'm like trying the different things. And then I try this gloss and I just put, I was like, oh my gosh, this smells heavenly. And some girl next to me, she like picked up the bottle and she's like, oh, she's like, oh, it's like, it's called heavenly hair glass. It was like, I had no idea. I didn't know what it was called, um, but that's what it smells like. It's just heavenly. I love it. Um, okay. So I'm going to start just applying my makeup and then I'm talking about beggar's night. Um, the one thing I did want to do is I'm kind of in between highlight shades right now. For those of you who, um, already have a highlight shade and you're, um, you're kind of the same way you're losing your tan. So you're like, I'm really not that tan anymore. It's so sad. Um, so I've been trying to figure out what color I am. And so I know like right now, this was like my summer one right here was hazel. And then this is Athens, but I have a feeling I'm actually needing to go down. So I keep all of my like extra highlight colors that I use throughout this, the year um, in a different palette. And when it's time to like start changing colors, I grab it um, and then I can swap them out. So I'm going to see if Amber, this was my color pre-summer. Let's see if, I think this might be it. Let me, I like to test it right here at my jawline and just see if it like melts in. And I think it is. Let's put a little bit on my 
redness too and see. Um, so if you guys are at that point where you're like, this isn't really blending in quite right anymore, um, or you're getting that like dark, <laughs> like you're very dark here and light here, um, talk, let's talk, get you a new color. Um, because obviously our skin changes. So I think I am going to switch out Amber. Um, I'm going to take out, I think I'm still going to blend it a little bit with other, another color, but I'm definitely not hazel anymore. This one's a little dark for me. So let's put that aside. But I just love how you can pop them in and out and then just customize it to exactly how you want it. So that is going to be, I'm going to use these two colors together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just start doing my makeup. I probably won't explain too much. This is kind of just my everyday routine. Um, but if you have questions about it, just comment color match. I'll get you color matched. Or if you're like, what product or what color, let me know. Okay. So let's talk about beggars night. So tonight in, let's go back. Okay. So I'm originally from Minnesota and moved down here in 2009 and I work at a school. And I remember specifically, I really remember this, um, you know, in a school, they'll have like calendars up that have like the days of the week and every day you put in the next number, like, oh, today's the 12th to, you know, and on the calendar, it was like, you know, beginning of October and there was the little holiday on the, I don't know what day it was on, but it said beggars night. And I was like, I had to ask the teacher, I'm like, what are you talking about? What is this? And they're like, it's beggars night. It's the day that we go out trick or treating. I'm like, what? And so apparently I don't understand the whole history of it, but it's more of a central Iowa tradition thing. Um, but it's the night of trick or treating. It's called beggars night. Um, you'll have to look it up to learn the history of it. Cause honestly, I don't know if I really truly get it, <laughs> but around here, like cities kind of pick when trick or treating night is. So it's not always like I grew up, it's like the 31st. So it didn't matter what day of the week it was. It's always the 31st is when we went out and there's no set times. It was just like when it started getting dark, people went out and you stayed out as long as people had their lights still on. And that is different here. <laughs> so recently, um, Bondurant, the town that I live in, um, actually changed it to always going to be the Thursday, not Thursday, the Saturday before Halloween to be beggars night. And it's because a lot of parents really, really liked having it on a Saturday, which I don't blame them. Like I, it's nice because we have all day, we can do stuff and be ready. We don't have to rush home from work, get our like supper, get costumes on, you know, it's kind of a crazy night. So it's nice to have all day Saturday to prepare to go out trick or treating. So um, tonight is the night because it's the first Saturday before Halloween. So um, after the party, we're going to come back and get supper, get our costumes on and do all that. Um, and uh, oh, I was I felt like there was something else with beggars night. I was going to say, oh, that's the other thing. So another tradition with beggars night is you tell a joke now. I don't feel like, I don't, there's not a lot of people that ask for the joke anymore. So I don't know if this is just a tradition that's starting to die around here, but um, yeah, some people, I usually seems like the older generation will be like, do you have a joke? Cause they won't give the candy out until you have a joke. So our kids had to learn. I mean, they grew up here. So it's like, I guess it's us, Brian and I had to learn that our kids had to have a joke ready, especially when they're old enough to tell jokes um, or they couldn't get their candy. And funny story with that. We, this is like a family joke. We talk about it all the time. So when my, <clears throat> my youngest was like old enough to go out trick or treating, um, not my youngest, it was only just two of them. It was my two oldest kids. They're now 13 and 11. Oops, wrong color. And we went out trick-or-treating and she was, you know, she was old enough to like stand and walk, but I think we might've carried her a little bit, but most of the night, I mean, she's pretty young. She could talk, but we went to a house and they were like, do you have a joke? And, you know, we had our oldest ready to tell a joke but before he could even say like, yeah, I have a joke. My daughter goes, yeah. And we all looked at 
her. And we were like, what? <laughs> and we're like, okay, go for it. <laughs> she did not have a joke ready. <laughs> and she goes, why did the baby's hat fall off? And we were all like, what is going on? And she goes, because the baby's hat fell off. And we just all laughed. It was hilarious. And so we always, we were like, you want to hear a joke? And now it's just a family joke between all of us. Cause it's just, it's too funny not to like, to say <laughs> so good. Um, but I haven't talked to my kids about if they have jokes for tonight. So we'll have to see. Um, I should mention this color that I'm using um, is such a good color for this fall and for winter, but it's supposed to be limited edition. It's still there. So I don't know if they're going to just eventually take it off when it's like sold out or if it's going to become a staple item. I don't know, but I think it's so pretty. Isn't it really pretty? I just really like it. Um, yeah, so beggar's night is such a different thing here in Iowa, but basically it's still the same thing, except just tends to be a different night. I don't know, but it's fun. Tonight is the night. I'm not dressing up. I, since we had the party, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Hocus Pocus shirt. Um, and that's it. But, um, my kids will be dressing up. Um, now I'm using this new setting spray. I do really like this setting spray. I didn't really use the other setting spray. Um, our old stuff has like not, not, ugh, I'm not a big setting spray person. I didn't set my face very often, but I've been really liking the combination of the prep to use for a priming mist and then this setting spray. I've really liked it. So, um, I just put it on my wet perfecter. So once I put like, um, just my base, like my foundation, my, I just did con, I didn't do contour tonight. I just did, um, bronzer and then my cheeks. And then I go through and I'm just gonna, this is like setting and blending at the same time with using the perfecter. You can just spritz it on your face. I don't really like doing that. So I'm just like tapping this everywhere. And this is also going to pick up any product if I put too much on there. But now it just set my face and that's what I, you can see there's like a little bit of coloring on there. Like, because I did have a little excess and it just blended all out for me. Um, so my oldest, so he's in seventh grade. He, he even had a friend ask, like, do you want to go trick or treating with me? And he's like, actually, I want to go with my family. I told the mom, I was like, I'm kind of like, part of me is like, don't you want to go out with your first friends? But I was also like, I'm going to just cherish this time. If he wants to hang out with family and his brother and sister and mom and dad, I'm just going to cherish that, that he wants to hang out with us. Right? I feel like that that's a good choice. <laughs> So he's been working on a costume, um, that he made of his own. He really likes like anime and manga books and shows. And so he has a favorite character called Chainsaw Man. I got to get going here soon. Um, and so he's been working on this. Actually, I think he started it this summer and, but he's been cutting out like chainsaw, like a saw thing, and then making this big like box mask thing. And then this week he's been painting it. So then he's just going to wear the clothes that this character wears with this huge mask on. I'll be sharing pictures for sure. So keep your eye out for that. Um, he has made, he made his costume last year. Um, I just love how like creative he is. I just got a text from my husband, but I can't look at it right now. <laughs> um, okay. So I do want to show you, um, my eyeshadow combination I've been doing lately and I'm really, really liking it. I think it's just perfect for this time of year. So I'm going to clean off my brush quick just so I don't have any other random colors on there. This is a brush cleaning tile. It's so nice. I just like it popped in by my eyeshadow brushes. I only use it on powders. I don't use it with the creams, but it cleans off my brush just to get the, like that excess stuff off. Um, let's see. My daughter 
made a mask. She's really big into making um, like animal masks. She's even, she hears me talking. Um, she's been really good, like been making some for friends and for herself and like they're so, so good. And she made a mask for a, um, some sort of dog. I can't remember a dog, but um, they, so she made that and then got like a bandana and then it's going to wear like all black. So she'll look like, I think it's a border collie if I remember right. Um, so she's going to be dressed up as a dog that she made. So my kids are just so creative. I love how creative they are. Hey, Cecilia, can you make sure Bradley, tell him like it's after 2.30. I'm not ready yet either, but can you tell him that he needs to get moving? I made him take a shower before we head out. <laughs> um, and then my youngest... Um, backstory with this costume, actually. Um, so I usually go to the store the day after thanks, not Thanksgiving, well, Thanksgiving too, <laughs> but after Halloween. And, um, because most time, most of the time the stores have things like di very discounted, like 75% off or something. And excuse me. And I picked up I saw there was some costumes that maybe the kids would like. So I remember calling and I'm like, okay, there's a hot dog costume. Would anyone want to wear that next year? And I'm like, if I get it, like that is going to be a costume. And he, Logan was like, yes, I want to be a hot dog. He's been wearing it on and off all year. <laughs> um, I'm using this deeper kind of, kind of maroonish brown color it's called spell and i'm using this to darken that outer corner and also as a liner um this is this month's shade of the month it's so good i feel like it goes with everything because it's just a nice everyone needs like a dark brown but this one definitely has like a purpley tone that i love it with like purples especially i'm not doing purples tonight but do you see how like it's definitely just a nice deep tone it's really pretty so I use these two colors and then I go in with the shimmer because you guys, I love a little bit of shimmer in my eyes, but isn't that pretty? Um, so shade of the month just means that it will only be available this month and then we'll have a new one come November. November, how is it November? It's so crazy. Um, here we go. Um, and then I just pop this shimmer. I just use my finger and I pop it, like I start putting it in the center and then I work my way down to that corner like so this is my I have a couple like go-to eyeshadows but I think that's what you need when you're um when you're doing makeup when you want quick makeup have like a couple combinations that you really like and then if you're you know when you have time it's not a big deal. Try something new, play around. But when you need to get to work and get moving, then have these specific combinations that you don't even have to think about. Because I feel like that's also, besides like rummaging through your makeup bag, trying to find products and stuff, hence have a palette with everything. Um, besides that, but sometimes just sitting and thinking like, what color eyeshadow am I going to wear today? What color lip and cheek am I going to wear today? Instead of like wasting that time, just have those ones in your back pocket. Like, okay, today got to move fast. So I have a couple combinations like that. Um, I have like a more brownish one that I like. This combination I've really been going to a lot lately. Um, I have like a pink combination I really like and also a purple combination that I really like as well. So um, it's really good just to have those backup ones. I'm going to do a quick mascara trying out this new mascara from Celeste called False Lashes. Um, I've been, I'm indifferent. I haven't, I haven't been using it for that long. Um, at first I wasn't liking it because I felt like my lashes were getting too wet, but now lately I have actually been liking it. So, um, I don't know. I'm indifferent still. I do like the applicator. So I got that lash stuck on there. Um, I think when it was too wet, I felt like it weighted down my eyelashes and then my, they didn't stay curled. So I think maybe I just didn't, um, get the excess off enough. I don't know.
but like right now I'm liking it. I think it looks nice. I don't, I don't know. I still, my favorite is probably the L'Oreal Panorama. Um, oh, there's like a piece on here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Don't you hate when there's something on your wand and you're like, get off. Cause you know, if it's on your wand, it's going to go in your eye. <laughs> At least that's my luck. Um, I think, okay. Yeah, I did say it was a hot dog costume. I just realized, did I ever finish the, <laughs> did I ever finish the conversation about all the costumes? So Logan will be a hot dog. Um, is, he'll be a cute hot dog. He said he's actually dressing up as the character from a, a book. So there must be a hot dog in that book. I've got to really get going. Okay. So if you get a little extra mascara, you guys, I try to show, I always like tell people don't get freaked out. So you're, I'm going to let this dry. I got a little extra there. I'm going to let it dry and I'll show you what I do um, after I show you my jewelry because I just got some new jewelry and I'm really excited about it. If you know me, I love jewelry. <laughs> so this is what I got. So um, lately I've been wearing a lot of J Bloom jewelry and they had what they call Bloom Box. It's a subscription. I signed up for the subscription and I'm going to cancel it because I don't want to be surprised by my jewelry, but I really, really liked this this one for the month. Um, it's a necklace, bracelet, and in earrings. You get all three. I want to say it was like $35. It was a really good deal. This is fabulous. So these earrings, they're, um, is that... I think it's like metal, but maybe has the black plastic over it, but big hoops. So I'm going to put these on first and then you guys have to see this necklace. I really, really like the necklace. That's why I like, um, had to get it. So let me get my earrings in and then I'll show you. And like, look at these little second earrings that I have. I got these at Target. They're little eyeballs. Isn't that perfect for Halloween? There's just something, it's funny, I haven't actually had any of the students at school say anything to me about the eyeballs. Cause I don't think you often like look at people's like second holes in there. Oh, those are good. I like that. Okay, so fun. Um, But I always wanted to tell the kids like, yeah, I got four eyes, I'm watching you. <laughs> look at this. I absolutely love charm necklaces lately. Um, I made a customized one too, and I absolutely love that. This one is so pretty. Let me take it off. And now I can't remember if I can take any of these charms off. I don't think I can. These aren't removable ones, no. But I could add my own charms to it if I wanted to. So let's see how oh, good it's on my right hand. Anyone else like, I need the little jaw clippy thing in my right hand. I think I'm going to make it pretty short since I have a bunch. Um, Cecilia saw this necklace and she was like, mine. <laughs> I said, sorry, it's mine. That's why I bought it. Um, oh, oh, maybe, do I have it on backwards? Just a sec. Let me see. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. I think I might have put it on backwards. No, I didn't. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. So fun. I love all the little charms, the asymmetrical look. I think it's so good. So if you want to um, check this out, let me know because my friend sells J Bloom and it's so good. I really have been loving the jewelry. I love the customization, all of that. Last but not least, I'm going to go back to that mascara, ladies, and show you what I do. So Here's a close up. When you get a little like fallout, not even fallout, but like you accidentally get too much mascara, just use your spoolie and brush it off. There we go. Do I have any more? Let me see. I even have a little black dot there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I got a little bit there. But just let it completely dry and then it comes right off with your spoolie. Such a good tip, right? Okay, I gotta really get going. Hopefully my son is ready because we really gotta get going. But thanks for hopping on with me. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy beggars night for those of you who are um, in this area. And I can't wait to see everyone else's kids' Halloween costumes, your own costumes. Tomorrow I'm hoping to do a makeup look. 
Um, maybe nothing like too creepy like Venom last time, but um, we'll see what I do. I have wigs to play with too, so it should be fun. So happy Saturday and I will talk to you all very soon.